Hey guys, guys, welcome to Mon Vlogs. So welcome back to the Thursday book review vlog day. So welcome back to another video, guys. Um, we're still doing the um, book review for the Scorch Trials. So we're doing chapters 41 to 53. And I've got it all on here. So my laptop screen here, which is why I'm going to be looking there and then letting you know what happens. So 41 to 53. what happens um in the last part we did last week was um chapters up to chapter 40 and um the ending was where thomas gets shot so what happens after so when thomas wakes up again he he's been um lowered down from the aircraft they're bringing him back to his friends they all um then find some shelter to avoid themselves from the extraordinary heat. Um, Thomas then tells them about Wicked and how they weren't supposed to shoot him. It was nothing to do with the plan, nothing, um, to, you know, that um, he wasn't supposed to be shot. It wasn't meant for him to get shot. Um, and obviously, while they're there, they've still got George with them, which is the leader of the cr Cranks. And he, he wonders, like, what's so special about Thomas, you know? Why is he so um, all over the world? Like, why is it always Thomas, Thomas, Thomas? And um, even though, like, Thomas thinks that's not the case. So he secretly knows that he is special to Wicked, but for some reason, and he doesn't know what it is, which is why they swooped him away, took him um, to the hospital to get better and, you know, help him when he was shot. So they could save him and, you know, use him for... Um, down the line for the future plans um so while resting thomas suddenly hears T teresa's voice again um in his mind warning him that something terrible is going to happen to him tomorrow and then he would he he wouldn't be able to hear her for a while so he's obviously thinking hang on how she back in his head and what's going on and they um eventually they pass the boys are passing through the um city at this point they um walking towards the mountains um, as they as they travel towards the mountain, uh, Thomas then eventually starts walking with Brenda and starts talking to her. But she's a bit upset right now because in the last part, she tried to help him uh, when the cranks had a party and they were gonna kill Thomas. But then she sorry he didn't want her help and take the advantage of that. So she was a bit upset. But then Thomas talks to her and they sort it out and they're sort of friends again now. They're on good terms. Eventually, as they're walking, Teresa suddenly starts advancing towards them, towards Thomas, and then from the mountains, and she's holding a weapon in her hands. Teresa then stops in front of them from some distance away, um, and another girl, a group of girls behind her are following as well, and they've got weapons. Um, the boys realise this is group B, and um, Teresa then tells Thomas that you know, tells the boys, sorry, that we need to take Thomas and threatens them. But because they're holding weapons and there's not enough boys to the girls, the boys let them go and let Thomas go, I mean, and let the girls take Thomas. Uh, Teresa pretends that she doesn't know Thomas and who he is. Uh, they put him in a sack, the girls together put him in a sack and drag him towards the mountains. However, Thomas then is like, obviously, sorry, Teresa's then whispering to Thomas, um, telling him, hang in there, this is a part of the wicked, this is their plan. Um, they've told us to do this which is why we're doing it where you know under their sort of rules and regulations at the moment we have to follow what they're saying um so um the girls then you know they've been ordered to kill thomas but eventually when they take him out um and they get to the mountains they take him out the sack and thomas obviously finds out that apparently this is a punishment for what he did to her as in what he did to Teresa but he's obviously wondering like what have I done I've not done anything um or have I done anything so he's not sure what he's done um so then when they get to group B's camp in the mountains Thomas realizes that the girls don't really want to kill him um they feel guilty guilty about it uh Teresa then will not tell him what he has done to her before um for this to happen and then some of the girls like for example, Harriet and Sonia tell Thomas that um, they have to kill him because it's Wicked's plan, it's their commands, in order to for themselves to survive and go to heaven, to save heaven. Um, then Thomas goes to sleep again, and while he's sleeping, he has another dream about him and Teresa in the maze, 
they're talking about um, the original creators and um, training replacement. When Thomas wakes up from his dream, Harrier and Sonia confront him. They ask him, ask him to tell them what, what he knows. Um, the girls don't really feel right about the um, entire situation either. Teresa is out um, scouting the area and so Thomas and the girls exchange information. When she comes back, the girls convince her not to kill Thomas. Thomas has pers persuaded the girls that this is all, all um, a setup, you know, the wicked have set this up as it's a test, so don't kill him, you know, keep him. Um, and then, however, Harriet warns Thomas that Teresa really does despise Thomas and would actually kill him. Um, Harriet also informs Thomas that there is a place further down on the other side of the mountains that's supposed to be a special place decide, designed uh, just for killing him. She reveals instructions from Wicked concerning him. Uh, the first stra strange incident with Teresa in the shack before the city was completely set up by Group B. Um, as night falls, travels, uh, they travel through the mountains. Teresa is, now, is nowhere to be found. They keep moving on. Members of the group do not spot her. She tells almost that her, that her act is over and that she that he should follow her. He does so, despite the instinct warning against him. So it's like you know, every so often there is something small, small, small things are happening. So it's really interesting, like a little mystery. Mystery, sorry. Um, yeah, it's really exciting to read the book. Um, so what happens next? She takes him through the tree as, and mountains, Teresa reveals to Thomas that she and Aris were very close. Uh, she then just, uh, says that she and Aris also has telepathic capabilities and they were in communication uh, during the glade. Thomas is shocked and wonders this is another wicked trick. Uh, what's going on? Aris shows up behind Thomas, walking with him uh, with a knife to his back. Aris and Teresa take Thomas to, to a cave that emits a dull green light source. Before forcing Thomas into the opening, Teresa and Aris exchange kisses. Teresa tells Thomas that only she she only pretended to be his best friend. Uh, wow. Um, she uh, says Aris is actually her best friend. Uh, this finally makes Thomas crack. He doesn't care and is really broken inside. Um, so then they lead him to the door. Thomas really is resolved that he will not go down without a fight. He distracts Aris by asking him about the death of Rachel. And then Aris's best friend from who is Aris's best friend from the maze. However, after um, knocking Aris out, Teresa knocks out Thomas and places him inside the cave. Finally, what happens in the last couple of chapters? Uh, the door is closed and light glows green. Teresa's last telepathic words to Thomas call him a sacrifice. Thomas lies inside the cave and listens as something begins to hiss. He wonders if his, if the hissing is poisonous gas. He slips into another memory dream. Um, in the memory dream, he's, he is standing in front of Teresa and a girl does not recognize, and sorry, a girl he does not recognize. They are preparing Thomas's entry into the maze. So that's what happens in chapters 41 to 40, sorry, 41 to 53. Um, so that is part four. And now I'm going to go into part five. So part five are chapters 54 to 65. So now we're going to go into part five. So this is chapters 54 to 65. So the ending of the book, guys, it's an amazing book to read. So make sure you read it. Right, so what happens in the ending? As Thomas returns from his consciousness, he begins to hear whispers in the dark. Um, he's not dead yet, he thought he would be. Um, he calls out and pounds on the cave door. Suddenly the door hisses and opens. Teresa standing outside and soon possible throws her arms around Thomas. Apologizes and she says this was wicked and they're threatening her um, to kill Thomas if they don't follow their procedures. Thomas is um, una unable to fully trust and believe um, or forgive her right now because of what's happened so far and how he she's tried to betray him before. Um, they promise to talk about all of this later, but Iris suggests that they are starting. They start running because they have only about five hours left until the their deadline to reach sa safe heaven. The group come down from the mountain and sees two groups of uh, male gladers and group B girls. 
advancing furiously to, for, forward. As they run, Teresa tells Thomas about what has happened and what since they were separated. The night after their rescue, she was taken by some people dressed in in suits, similar to the ones who took Thomas to um, help him, you know, with the bullet and his wound. Uh, Teresa also reveals that she and Iris have indeed always had telepathy, even while she was in the Glades maze in the first book. Um, she emphasizes um, that she never wanted to do any horrible things to Thomas. Um, she said it was all about the wicked. It was their plan to make Thomas feel un, you know, un, unwelcome and you know, uh, completely betrayed, so they could um, test his brain waves, his p patterns, and what happens him, to him. Um, she asks um, Iris to turn around. Um, she kisses Thomas, but Thomas no longer feels anything. So it's all going really weird, right, toward the end, guys. Um, so what happens next? Um, if they sit down and discuss their memories and dreams, they could figure out a lot more. Um, however, they are running out of time. So they all full, go full speed ahead to where the others are gathered. A stick on the ground bears a thin ba banner that reads the safe heaven. So they're finally reaching the safe heaven. Um, it's part of their task to reach that place. So everyone is nervous about what will happen next. Uh, Brenda and Teresa meet for the first time, um, obviously with a jealousy encounter because Brenda is now sort of Thomas's new best friend and she's a girl. So um, anyways, while waiting, Thomas tells his friends about what happened with Teresa and Aris. Mino says um, they are traitors and will never trust them. Um, so then eventually a storm starts brewing up. Um, suddenly they see a section of the desert ground upon open up and a strange chamber emerges. Um, several hours, sorry, several other similar chambers follow suit. Uh, these chambers just look like the ones from Continued Grievers, which Thomas saw after the Gladers escaped the maze. So then, you know, strange creatures emerge from the chambers. They do not have faces, but a strange light bulb um, is growing from their presence, from their joints and other places. And, you know, the monsters, sorry guys, some noise in the background, yes, don't worry, hope you can still hear me. Um, then, where did I get to? Yes, so then, um, however, the monsters are brewing light from these, um, you know, light bulbs and release it, you know, they release the fairy. So, there are only a few minutes left until the um, safe heaven time. So, to escape the storm, they, Thomas and his friends must, you know, kill the monsters and break the light bulbs. 30 seconds before um, time is reached, a uh, bird finally lands on the ground. Fighting through the remaining monsters, Thomas and his friends reach the bird. However, one of the personnel on board isn't insists the only one of the two citizens, George or Brenda, can stay. Thomas senses that the, this is a test and tells the man to kill Brenda. Um, as soon as the man's back in turn, back's, back is turned, um, however, Thomas knocked him down, insists that both Brenda and George stay. The man smiles and argue, agrees, uh, introduces himself as David. So someone else coming into the picture now. Um, finally, as, he's, as he rests, Thomas is woken up by a telepathic voice again. Um, however, the girl is no longer Teresa. The voice is Brenda. So Brenda can talk telepathically now, like, so it's a bit random. So Brenda warns Thomas that something happens, uh, bad's going to happen to him. Thomas wakes up in, um, in a room that reminds him of Box from the maze. Teresa's communication telepathically with him, saying the wicked um, took Thomas away from the group after landing. Um, it has also almost been a week. So this is like getting to the final part of the book now, guys. Thomas tells Teresa to go away. He says um, he's doing some uh, playing wicked's game. However, Teresa ends a strange, on a strange note claiming that wicked is good. So the ending of the book, guys, um, the story ends with the apology that consists of memorandum. The memorandum is from the Chancellor, a woman named Ava. Uh, Chancellor Page writes to her associate saying that the deliber deliber sorry, deliberation process of the results of the experiment is currently, un currently underway. They, um, they will figure out out soon which of the subjects are mean to the flare so as you can see guys so many things are happening every so often like whether within an hour within a 30 seconds within a minute 
so many, so many little, little things. So it's like a mystery. And you think, what's going to happen next? What's going to happen next? It is amazing read, guys. So, yes, that was the ending of the book. Um, we're going to be moving on. So we're going to be moving on next week to book three. Book three is The Death Cure. Uh, so, yeah, stay tuned for that. I hope you really enjoyed book two. I loved it. It was an amazing read. Um, yeah, and it was just amazing because one minute you're in a room and then next minute you're going to sleep or lying down because there's nothing there for you to do at the time. And then within a few seconds, you wake up or whatever, half an hour to a minute, half an hour, sorry, half an hour to an hour. And then that room you're in before is all full with people or cranks or monsters. And it's quite a little bit creepy, but it's a really good book to read. And it's um, like a mystery. So yes, guys, I hope you really enjoyed that. That was the book two, The Scorch Trials. I'll see you on the next video guys i hope you really enjoyed this one though um i've got a few cooking videos to come up so i really hope you enjoy them too stay tuned on the channel and i'll keep entertaining you this way just before i go guys love you all take care guys peace out bye stay safe guys